Right, uh, hello. Um, I'm going to uh, talk a, a little bit, uh, provide a little bit of an overview view about um, UK Core, the UK Council of Research for Repositories. Um, like a lot of people, um, I've uh, used slides with images to represent concepts, so we'll see how many uh, pictures are shared across the different presentations. Um, that's me. Um, I manage the repository at the University of Lincoln in the UK, but I'm, um, I'm not here representing my university. I'm, I'm here as a, a member of the committee of UK Corps. Um, uh, some of my UK Corps colleagues, uh, and I know uh, lots of members of UK Corps are, are in the audience here. Um, what is UK Corps? Um, from our vision statement, um, the work of repository management as a, as a professionally recognised role. We, despite the name of the organisation, don't really exist to support repositories. We exist to support the people involved in repositories. Um, there's an image that's already been used. The Swiss Army knife, uh, I think, cropped up in the last um, presentation. Um, UK Corps was convened in 2007. Very quickly, um, we've developed as, as a kind of practical support group. Um, one of the things that you will find, and UK mem members will say this, is that theoretical discussions don't play much of a part. We're not interested in big concepts. Those discussions are going on, but, but we're, we're talking about practical support for repository people. Um, we're fairly representative of the UK. We have um, uh, approaching 300 members, and, and well over 100 institutions are represented. Um, we're, we're an individual membership organisation. People join as individuals, institutions, universities don't join UK Corps, individual um, <coughs> repository workers join. Um, we are free of proprietorial influence. We have no ties to any national organisations, we're not convened by any national organisation, we don't take our agenda from any national organisation, um, and because people join as individuals, um, the relationship is a community of people with shared challenges, uh, not a community, a community of universities or higher education institutions. The, the corollary of that is that we have no money. Our budget is zero. That has some benefits as well as disadvantages, but it does, it does dictate the way we work. We can't organise big events. We tend to rely on other people to um, provide our funding and to provide uh, venues for events. We've run several um, national members meetings um, over the last few years. The next one is in November in Teesside, and, uh, uh, Teesside University, and details will be um, circulated about that quite soon. Um, one of the important things about UK Core is that it is a gated community. We are reasonably strict about the membership criteria. You have to be an active, um, uh, current active repository worker. Um, to join the UK Corps, and we tend to uh, enforce that because it, it means that people feel safe to ask awkward questions or, or questions that in public they might not be comfortable asking. Um, the committee I've alluded to, there are five of us on the committee at the minute, we're all repository workers in, in, in some way or another, um, and we exist to represent the views of and, and distill the views of the, the repository community and communicate that uh, publicly. Um, so we will make uh, statements, the, the Google link at the bottom is a link to our blog post um, on the Finch report into open access which people from the UK will know is uh, causing some uh, interesting discussions at the moment. So we will make statements that, that try to reflect the broad um, sweep of opinion of people who are actually dealing with repository challenges in the UK. Um, we're, a, we're a social organisation, um, we, we, we share information through social media as well as, as face to face and we're about conversations, we're about how do you do it, what problems have you faced, how have you solved them, how can we help, how can we share information, how can we support each other. Um, the committee of UK Corps, uh, the members of the committee are involved in, in lots of other um, national organisations and regional organisations in library and information and information technology work in the UK. So we, we try and, and share that expertise across domains. 
um, and, and make sure that repositories are reflected in maybe the library domain just as the needs of libraries might be reflected in the repository domain. Part of that work and something that's increasing um, is about uh, improving the links that we have with other organisations. In, in, a, in a kind of formal statement of mutual recognition, we s uh, came to an agreement with the Japanese Digital Repository Federation, um, basically a statement of shared purpose very recently. Um, we're looking at similar statements of, of common understanding with the Australian and New Zealand uh, organisation CARES and other organisations in the UK. Uh, we're listening. I've missed my dog. I went too slowly for my obligatory dog picture. Um, we ran our first uh, user sur members survey in 2011, and that's going to be an annual event. And we use that to determine what are the priorities um, of people working in repositories in the UK, facilitating exchange of best practice, sharing sharing tips. How how are we solving problems? That's that's what people really want to get out of this organisation. And as I say, we run those surveys now uh, are going to be an annual event. We're on the web, ukcore.org is our website, links to our blog, um, minutes of all our meetings, uh, public statements, documents, all of that kind of thing. Uh, we're transparent, it's all there on the web for you to see. Um, our biggest weakness, people haven't heard of us. Even people working in repositories haven't heard of us. Uh, and lots of people outside of repositories who really should know about UK Core haven't. Um, so that, that, I think, uh, again, we've identified as our biggest challenge um, for the next year, certainly, is to make sure that other organisations in the UK and, and government, HEFKE, um, know who UK, UK Core are and what we represent. If you want to join, if you, if you have access to the GISC mail service, which most people in the UK should have, um, you can go along, go online and <coughs> sign up for our mailing list, which is the, the primary method of discussion. As I say, it is a, a gated private community. You can ask all the <coughs> questions there. Um, I'd love to have you because we want to increase our membership. Um, those are all of my picture references with appropriate licensing terminology, <laughs> as you would expect. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any questions for Paul? Um, that's all our uh, presentations for this morning. We're short of a couple of presenters. Um, I'd just like to say thanks again to all the presenters. If you've ever done a time presentation, it definitely adds another degree of difficulty. So well done to all of them. Um, and I say thank you very much.